Hello, this is Kelly Phillips for PaperBeadRollers.com. I just love the look of the smooth rounded beads you find on expensive charm bracelets. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your own version of those beautiful beads from paper. First, let's look at the supplies you'll need. Patterned or solid color 65 pound paper. The 3 16 paper bead roller, it's the lavender handle. Grommets at the four millimeter size. Judykin's diamond glaze. A paintbrush. Skewer or other thin rod to hold the bead during glazing. Glue, school glue is fine and a way to cut your paper. So scissors, cutting board, cutting machine, whatever you like to use. Step one, choose a paper. Now this style of bead looks good both in solid colors or in patterns. If you choose to go with solid colors, you can use colored cardstock, or you can use white paper or recycled paper and paint the bead after it's rolled into its final bead shape. If you want a multicolored or a pattern bead, it's best to choose a pattern that has a highly contrasting colors and in a very small pattern. If the pattern's too large, you won't see all of the colors once the bead is rolled. There is one caveat you're gonna need to know. If you choose a paper that has a white core, which is where it's white in the middle and then the color is applied on either side, you'll need to color the edges before you roll them because the white on the edge will ruin the look of your bead. Unfortunately, a lot of pattern papers have white cores. I like to get a metallic stamping ink pad and just run the edges of the strips across the top to add just a little bit of glimmer up to the edges of the beads. It covers the white very nicely. To get a bead that looks exactly like the ones I've made here, you'll need to choose a paper that is 65 pound weight. Now, if you use a paper of a different thickness, your bead may turn out just fine, but it will have a slightly different shape than mine. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's part of the fun of making paper beads. Step two, cut your paper strips. The most common sizes of paper that I use are eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12 cardstock. And if that's the size you're using, you'll need to cut three different strips for each bead. So here are your measurements. Strip one will be 3 eighths of an inch at both ends. Strip two is 3 eighths of an inch at one end and 2 eighths of an inch at the other. Strip three is 2 eighths of an inch at one end and 1 16th of an inch at the other. And of course, these strips are, depending on the kind of paper you use, they're either 12 inches long or they are 11 if you're using eight and a half by 11. Cut your strips with whatever cutting method works best for you. Scissors, rotary cutter, cutting board. I like to use the Brother Scan and Cut to cut mine. If you have a Brother Scan and Cut and you would like the template for this style of bead, you can purchase it from paperbeadrollers.com and I will drop the link to that in the description of the video. Step three, get rolling. For this project, we're using the 3 16th diameter bead roller. Now, if you've purchased your rollers from paperbeadrollers.com, that is the one with the lavender end. It's important that you use a tool that is the same diameter as the metal bead cores we'll be adding in step five. So the 3 16th bead roller corresponds to the four millimeter grommets. Okay, begin with strip one, slide it into your slot and start to roll. Keep rolling until you get to the end. Now there's no taper on this strip, so make sure all of the edges line up exactly. Glue that end down and grab strip two. Strip two goes right up to strip one. They should be the exact same width, so there shouldn't be any gap there. Glue it down and start to roll strip two. Now make sure you keep it centered as you roll. When you get to the end, glue it down. Same thing. The width on strip three should completely match where you ended with strip two. So line that up, glue it down, and start rolling. Now it's particularly important that you keep strip three centered because that's what's gonna give you this nice rounded shape. So take your time, go back and fix it if you need to. When you get to the end, glue it down. And just wait for your bead to dry. 
Step four, glaze your bead. Place the beads on a bamboo skewer and use your paintbrush to apply the Judikins diamond glaze. Apply two coats, allowing the glaze to dry completely between coats. Step five, insert the bead cores. Apply a thin line of glue around the bead hole and you can let some of it drop inside the bead. That's great because it helps the bead core stay into place. Make sure you get good contact as you push the bead core into the bead hole. Do that for both sides and allow it to dry completely. And now you have beautiful Euro style beads to make yourself a gorgeous piece of jewelry. If you liked this tutorial, hit the subscribe button. You can also find more tutorials here and at paperbeadrollers.com.